वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास ऑन ए स्टडी स्टेज स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ ए इलेक्ट्रिक ट्रेन इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वेदर द इलेक्ट्रिक ड्राइव इज स्टेबल और नॉट इन अ स्टडी स्टेट सो व्हाट इज मेंट बाय स्टडी स्टेट मींस वी हैव अ वन मोटर वी स्टार्टेड विद अ सम बाय गिविंग अ सम सप्लाई वी अप्लाई सम अमाउंट ऑफ द लोड ऑन द मोटर सो दैट द मोटर विल बी ड्राइविंग द लोड now what is the physical meaning of driving of that motor that load means that the developed torque in a motor should be equal to the load torque that operating point is nothing but a steady state in a steady state the developed torque of a motor is equal to the load torque if any disturbance is occurs at that point whether the motor is regain the original speed or not that is representing the steady state stability of a electric train that we are going to see now so before going to study the steady state stability it is highly depending upon the motor speed torque characteristics as well as a load speed torque characteristics on the x axis we have taken the torque on the y axis we have taken the speed this is the profile of the torque developed by the motor this is the load torque the point a is nothing but a equilibrium point this point a is representing the where developed torque equal to the load torque this point now at this point we are assuming that due to the some disturbance in a motor or load the speed of the motor will be decreases now this is the operating point we assume in that there is some amount of disturbance that occurs in a system so the speed of the motor is decreases to decrease it to the, the second dotted line that is intersecting the motor torque graph at this point nothing but corresponding this point how much torque is nothing but that is more than the load torque increase in a motor torque and decrease in the load torque so that the motor will be accelerated again the motor speed is come to the point a nothing but a, even though if the disturbance is occurs the motor is regain the original speed now in second case this is the increasing speed this is the actual operating point because of some disturbance nothing but if the load on the motor will be decreases so that the speed will be increases the disturbance may be the load side or the motor side whatever it is this is the change in speed now we, at this case if we observe corresponding this point the motor torque will be lesser and load torque will be more corresponding this this upper dotted line so load torque is more and motor torque will be lesser so that the speed of the motor will be decreases again the speed is come to the original position nothing but a, this system is steady state stability now we are we are not going to change the motor now we are, we change the the type of load which is applied on the motor in second case that we are going to examine whether the system is stable or not in a steady state again on y axis we have taken the speed this is the speed torque characteristics of a motor this is the speed torque characteristics of a load so for this load this is the equilibrium point b due to some disturbance the speed of the motor is decreases once the speed of the motor is decreases see at this point you are drawing a one dotted line that is intersecting the load torque at this point and motor torque at this point so from the corresponding this point how much torque of load means this is the load torque this is the motor developed torque so load torque is more than the motor torque again the motor will be decelerate nothing but the speed of the motor will further decreases the speed it is not coming to the original speed now if we increase the speed as per the increase in speed if we find the motor torque as well as the load torque the load torque will be less than the motor torque so the speed of the motor will be further increases so now the operating point will be go up it is not coming back to the operating point b so this system becomes a unstable system this is the the system is not a 
steady state stability this is the one way in which we can analyze the whether the driving drive system is stable or not at a equilibrium point in a graphical method it requires the speed torque axis is a motor as well as the speed torque axis itself a load also what type of load we are applying see in first case if you observe the first case this is the low torque characteristics but in second case this is the low torque characteristics this is different load this is different load first case system is stable but in second case the system is the unstable so from the above analysis we can say very easily that when the speed is decreasing the rate of change of load torque is less than the motor torque means the system is stable that is the point what you have observed here see here when the speed is decreases the rate of change of load torque is greater than the motor torque expression inequality expression if there is a small contribution in a speed contribution is nothing but a there is small change in a speed if there is small change in a speed resulting a change in a motor torque change in a load torque in t and tf where t is nothing but a the torque developed in the motor whether tl is nothing but a applied by the load now this is the equation fundamental equation what we got from the torque equation of a drive from the equation one the generated torque equal to load torque plus j into d omega m by dt this is nothing but a transient torque nothing but a dynamic torque j is nothing but a moment of inertia of both motor along with a load already we have taken there is small change in speed which is causing a change in the torque as well as the load torque now we are substituting in this equation we are getting the equation here in place of t if there is small change is occurs nothing but a t plus delta t equal to t plus delta tl plus j into again in place of omega m we substitute the omega m plus delta omega m because we have taken the a small change in speed now you have to separate this term we are getting the t plus delta t equal to tl minus delta tl plus j d omega m by dt plus j into d delta omega m by delta t this is the equation 3 now what is the difference between the equation 1 and equation 3 means equation 1 is representing the steady state torque equation equation 3 is representing the there is small change from the steady state now we are going to find out the what is that small change from the 3 e subtract the equation 1 now delta t equal to delta tl plus j d by dt of delta omega m. this is the equation what we got it now delta t is nothing but a small change in a generated torque delta t equal to dt by d omega m into delta omega m this term is nothing but a slope of the curve so change in speed equal to slope of the characteristics of a generator into change in speed in same manner we can write it the change in the load torque equal to slope of the load torque into change in speed now you have to substitute these two equations in this equation in the above equation we are getting the j into d by dt of delta omega m plus dtl by d omega m minus dt by d omega m into delta omega m we have taken the comma equal to zero this equation is nothing but a different first order differential equation if we find the solution for the first order differential equation in terms of delta omega m nothing but change in speed we are getting the this is the solution for this first order differential equation that is equal to delta omega m equal to delta omega m not nothing but a this term is representing the change in speed of a motor 
at t equal to zero into exponential of by minus one by j into d t l by d omega m minus d t by d omega m into t. So from this equation, when t equal to zero, the change in speed is zero means then the system is stable. Otherwise, the system becomes a unstable. So the magnitude of a change in speed is goes to the zero when the t goes to the infinity. That is possible only the exponential power should be the negative. The change in a low torque should be greater than the change in a motor torque. This is a mathematical derivation. Of how we are going to find out the whether the system is stable or not in a steady state. So in this manner, we can say whether the system is stable or not graphically as well as a mathematical also. Thank you very much. If you have any doubt, you can ask me directly or in the comment box of the YouTube channel so that I am available to answer all your questions.